Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this week six matchup. We have the Broncos at home taking on the Colts. We'll see if the Broncos can stay on track and get a double, another win here against the Colts. These are two pretty good teams uh, that both look to try and compete for a playoff spot. So the Broncos will kick first. McManus sends this one away and it will be taken for a knee. Colts come out onto the field. So the starting running back here for the Colts is Marlon Mack. He takes that one for maybe three. So here is the Colts offense. They have a very good offensive line led by Quinn and Nelson, one of the best in the league. Uh, and T.Y. Hilton and their backfield are very good skill players. Third and seven on the first drive of the game. Philip Rivers, he'll drop back. And he's sacked. Von Miller off the edge. So out comes the Broncos offense, and it will be Drew Locke leading them today. He's not having a great year, but he has put up a lot of yards in most of his games. Come on first down. And he's got time. He throws it wide open. That is Jerry Judy for about 12. We talked to the coaches before this game. They said they want to keep trying to get the run game involved. And they play fake here. Throw to Judy. And it can't catch it. And it's knocked away. But it's caught. Judy laying on the ground still. It's intercepted by Willis. I hope Jerry Judy's all right. Maybe a catch he should have made. It's that weird play. It is first and ten for the Colts. They'll throw it outside for about three. It is third and five. They have they go bunch left again. And they will throw the screen, but it's off the mark. Broncos will get the ball back. Tim Patrick slot left. Rowan traffic. Patrick's got it close to the sticks. And Moore is injured. So after the holding call, it is second and long. Drops back. And he's taken down. He had a little bit of time, but it was a long play and no one was open. Second and 32. One of the longest plays I've seen in a long time. But he's got Gordon open. He makes the catch in traffic, and they get a lot of yardage. 27 yards. A lot of yardage on second down sets him up in a good spot for third. Locke rolls out, throws it outside. That is Melvin Gordon, and I believe he has the first down. Third and nine. Neither offense has gotten too much going here as they motion receiver left. Throw over the middle, intercepted. The defense has it. He's running it back, and he will be taken down. I'm not sure what happened there. Justin Houston on the interception. Second and three. Mack the back once again. We haven't seen Jonathan Taylor yet. And it's a screen. Max got blockers, and he will be find his way into the end zone. A great job blocking there by the linemen downfield as they take a six to nothing lead. So look at this, Travis Lakes is in. We thought we might see this today. His first throw over the middle, that is caught by Tim Patrick for 19 yards. Second and 14 after the tackle for loss, they go bunch left. But the wide receiver will right. Throw outside. And it's caught. T.Y. Hilton goes up and gets it. There was two people that were close to him. But neither could make a play. Sec or third and two. Marlon Mack is the back once again. Will Brewer steps up and it's intercepted. Denver has the ball. That's Michael Ojumeda. Travis Lakes, he's got four receivers out wide. 
Throw it in tight coverage. That's Cortland Sutton again. Hey, let's go. Just over a minute left. There's pressure off the edge and he's sacked. Timeout called by the Broncos. Jerry Judy is wide left. He's got time this time. Throw, caught by Patrick. What a catch and there's a timeout called by the Broncos. Ocean Gordon out wide. Looking his way, throw to Gordon, and he hauls it in. What a catch by Melvin Gordon. McManus puts it up, and it sneaks through. That will end the half, though. They've already ran it a couple times this drive. We'll see if they go back to Lindsay again. They don't. That's thrown over the middle. That's the tight end for about 14. Fourth quarter is upon us. Travis Lakes today has played pretty well. He has 160 yards. First and 10. Throw outside. Cortland Sutton's got it. He breaks a tackle. Cortland Sutton down. Trying to make a man miss, but he can't. But it, it doesn't matter. He's inside the 20-yard line. Cortland Sutton, a huge play. First and 10. Play fake. Throw wide open. Cortland Sutton's got it. Touchdown. Back of the end zone. Cortland Sutton. It is third and short. This is a huge play to decide the outcome of the game. Over the middle, caught Paris Campbell past the 50 yard line, but he is injured. First and 10, they go three tight ends left. They play fake, pressure, touchdown, Burton again. Here's third down. This is a big play to decide the outcome of the game. He's got a receiver wide open. Fant up the seam. Inside the 40-yard line of the Colts. They motion Gordon, so they go empty here on first and 10. Throw wide open. Melvin Gordon is in. Touchdown, Broncos. They score real quick. It is first and 10. Two minutes left in the game. Throw, intercepted! Michael Ojemedu with his second pick on the game. That might have just given the Broncos a chance to win it. What a pick! Gordon the back again. I would imagine they might try to get a little bit closer here, but they run it with Gordon. Huge hole, Melvin Gordon is inside the 25 yard line and there's a timeout by the Colts on third and one. They give it to him and he stopped behind the line, but they will have time to kick the field goal. Here is the kick to win the game, Brandon McManus. The hold, the kick is up and it is good. There's no time left on the clock, the Broncos win. Uh, Philip Rivers played pretty good except for his two interceptions as well. I did think the last one was actually a solid pass, but um, just got a little bit unlucky. Great play by Michael Ojemudia. Uh, and then Travis Lakes, if I had to give a game ball, it would either be him or Michael Ojemudia. Um, they're both very good games. They both had very good games. Travis Lakes came in, and I didn't see much of the problems I did in sp er, in preseason. Uh, he did miss one or two throws that I probably might not uh, end up showing you guys. But anyway, like he had a he had a really good game. No interceptions. Almost 300 yards. Michael um two TFLs along with his two interceptions he has to get game ball for me he had a really good game uh, we had a couple other uh, TFLs and then Von Miller had two sacks uh, he had a very good game today as well so after the very impressive uh, debut I believe of Travis Lakes um, he gets another upgrade uh, I think we're probably gonna go field general again Keep working on the accuracy. Throw accuracy deep and mid. That's not bad. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.